Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today's problem, we have a 2003 Nissan Pathfinder. The customer brings it in and tells me they cannot control the fan speed. The fan, the fan stays on continuously and it doesn't, uh, doesn't turn off. They cannot increase or decrease the speed of the fan either. All right, so let's grab some tools. Let's get in there and let's figure out what's going on with this and get this job done and then on to the next one. Let's show you what the problem is here. The problem is, even though we have the, uh, the climate control turned off, we can't control the fan speeds. See? The fan speeds don't work. It just blows out strictly high speed. Even when you turn it off, you can't shut the, uh, the heat off. It stays on all the time. Um, this is a problem. I've run into this before. And let me show you what I'm going to do to correct it. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this area here by the glove compartment, and we're going to go down inside here, and we're going to—I'll uh, show you what the problem is. There's a piece in there called a uh, an amplifier that actually is like a resistor. Um, so let me uh, get over on the other side, grab some tools, and uh, we'll get started. Basically, what we're going to do, and I know it's going to be a little bit hard to see in here because it is uh, a little bit dark, but basically, what we're going to do is going to take the glove compartment down. You pull it down like this here. And what we're going to do is on the side of the glove compartment here, I'm going to point this out to you. On the side of the glove compartment right over here, there's a little pin that holds the uh, glove box in place. What you can do is you get in here with the screwdriver and you pry it over just a little bit and you pull it past right here. And the same thing on that side over there. Um, and then the next thing you're going to do is after you do that, is underneath the glove compartment you have these little pins right here. You just take that pin, push it this way, and it pulls right out. Same thing on this side right here. You pull it out, and just give it, it pulls a little bit, and then you pull it the rest of the way, and it comes right out. And then we're going to remove the, uh, the glove box from the car. So uh, let me do that, and then we'll get started on that. and you can tilt it just a little bit and pull it out and if you had have to you get in here with a screwdriver on the side you can pry it down so we're going to get this out of the way next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove all of these screws inside here we're going to take out this screw here and these up in the top here and all the way down on the bottom down over here and then we're going to pull this, this piece right here out. And underneath here, there's going to be a couple of more screws underneath here. So uh, let me just get started on that. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. All the screws that you see underneath the bottom here, you just take them all out. There's two of them to hold this, this panel in place right here. And then we're going to take this out. You just pull it, and it comes right out. And then we're going to remove the screws that are up underneath here. side right over here. You just pull this out of the way and then this will come right out. Okay, and the piece that I'm telling you about it's called an amplifier or a resistor. It does the same thing. It basically controls the fan speeds. That's this piece right up inside here. I've run into this problem before and this is the most common issue on a uh, climate control vehicle. All right, and what you do is you take this piece over here and you pull that clip in. You may need a screwdriver to do that. You grab a screwdriver and come right back. Okay, what you do is just come in here, right on the side right here. Just push it in a little bit and you pull it and it unplugs. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew that resistor. 
Oops, sorry about that. And then we're going to take it out. There's only two screws to hold it in place. And the last one, right here. Now, unfortunately, this part here is not available aftermarket. You will need to get it from the dealer. And basically what it is, it looks like this. This sticks into the, uh, by the blower motor right here, and air blows through this, and it's supposed to cool it down. What happens is the, it doesn't cool it down properly, and um, it overheats, and then its fail-safe mode would be uh, usually uh, the full-on position, unable to control it. So uh, let's grab the new one, put it back in, and we'll start to put this job back together. This is the uh, this is the replacement. As you can see, the replacement's a little bit different. Uh, looks like it has more openings for better air circulation to keep the uh, the amplifier or resistor from burning uh, burning out again. All right, so uh, let's put this in. We're going to plug it together, and we're just going to make sure that everything is okay. And if it is, which I'm confident it will be, we'll uh, put it back together and put it uh, put the dashboard back together. These screws don't have to be real tight because you're screwing into plastic, so you just snug them in there. Plug this back in, and you'll hear a snap right in place. And now, if everything is okay, we should be able to turn the key on. And we should be able to control everything. All right, key's on. That's a good thing. I'm going to turn it on. It's working just the way it's supposed to. That's it. So now we can control the fan speeds, and if we turn it off, it should turn off, which it did. All right, let me uh, start putting this dashboard back together, and I'll take you right through that uh, procedure now. Okay, and to put the uh, glove compartment back together, you basically just get this side here, back inside here where it belongs, and push this up, we're snapped in, and then we can put all our screws back in. Here. Remember, we're going to put these screws in, but we need to put these clips here back into those spots right up in there. You see these little slots? You're going to put them in there first, and you'll feel a snap in, and then you install those two screws. nice and tight and we're just going to put this molding back on here that we previously took off pushes right back in there we'll put our glove compartment back in and the way you put the glove box in is you just angle it just a little bit crooked and you get the box back in snap it in place and then you just come down underneath the bottom here and these pins that you previously took out go back in like that. You push the glove box up and the pins snap right in. Same thing on this one here. Put it in here and push the glove box in and it snaps right in place. 
and that's it. All right, everything's all set. Everything's back together. No extra nuts or bolts or screws, and uh, we got a good job. And as always, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.